all right good morning to you wonderful people and then those of you out there who wants to learn how to code now this is a simple database or simple data entry system that can be used to keep data records can be used to keep sales made in shops can also be used for analyzing sales as well as analyzing data but uh, today's video is mainly for uh, educational purposes is for uh, those of you out there who wants to learn how to write certain computer programs so if you want to learn how to write programs or you want to learn how to write programs in um, python javascript and what have you then you are in the right place okay so this program actually it was written with uh, the help of VBA Excel VBA and then JavaScript okay so I'll just demonstrate how this program works like I said it's mainly for those of you out there who wants to learn how to write computer programs or who wants to uh, be programmers or coders okay if you want to learn how to write code or you want to learn how to write programs then I would ask you or entreat you to listen and go through with me so that in future or later we will we will pick it up I will give my leave my contact and then we will, we will pick it up from there all right so this like I said was written with the help of um, Excel VBA and then JavaScript okay so I'll just demonstrate how this program works now uh, when you open the program this is going to be the first interface okay the first inf interface that you will see is this okay and we have the login okay and the login time the date you log in and then the closing time as well as the day the month is July okay and then you have the welcome button okay so these are all codes that um, um, was written okay all right so we will start a system the moment you click on start system and then you click on okay the clock starts working okay and then you have your selection or you have your box to select or make some selections okay now this program again is supposed to be used by three people that is um, the data entry click or the the manager who is supposed to keep the stock or who has to is supposed to input the stocks into the system and then the two sales personnel so you have the manager who will put the sales into the system who sorry who will put the stock into the system and then the two uh, sales personnel who will be um, selling the the product that has been entered by the manager so when you start the clock or you start a system you have this interface like this so we would have to log in as a manager because it's a it is a new system we'll log in as a manager so you just select ml and then that is manager and then you type in the password to unlock manager okay so there are passwords that you can use okay to unlock the system so first I'm going to type the manager password to log in into the month of January so there are passwords that you will use to log in in, in in January February March and what have you to December okay every there's a password for every login in each month okay so when I click on OK this will be the next interface for the manager so we have the sales button the print pdf and what have you how to print in pdf and then you can update the sales or you can sorry you can update the stock input or you can add new items but because it's a new system that we are using now we we'll have to add some product or some items into the system like i said this is for those of you who wants to learn how to write codes okay so if you just completed jhs or shs or anyone who wants to have the basics in computer programming I will, I will advise you to watch to the end of this video i'll leave my links or I'll leave my contacts so you can link me up anytime so you also start writing some 
wonderful computer programs in, in the near future okay so we will end or we will add new system or add new items so when we click on add new items this will be the interface for the manager so we have the search and then we have all the boxes here that you will use to enter into the system okay so what do we want to do we want to put in some uh, records or some products so first you ask yourself is the product in team or is in search it or in is in bags okay so let's say let's just pick one um pro one product or one so we pick teams so here what we are saying is that we want to input some products in in teams okay so what is the name of the product we are trying to uh, take stock of so we'll say let's say milo okay milo okay so what is the expiration date for this item so the expiration date is let's say 12 uh, december 2026 okay if if you type in the exact month that you have in the system the system will tell you the product has been or the product is expired you, you understand so the moment you type in the same um, um, date or the same year that a system um, uh, is, is, is i don't know how to put it but the moment you the the, the date tallies with the today's system the date that you input tallies with the, the date for today it will indicate that the um, item has been uh, expired or the item is expired okay so we we'll have to use the date on the product so 12 or 13th december 2026 okay or 2027 that's when it will expire okay so let's use 2025 now we are trying to take stock of milk okay so what is the total quantity of milk things or milk uh, in the in the shop okay the, the total number of milk in the shop so let's say it's 100 the total quantity of milk in the shop is 100 then how much did we the, the did you buy each uh, 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 milk okay so let's say we bought at um, 20 cities or at 10 cities for each milk okay you bought it at a, at a cost of 10 cities how much do you intend to sell it we're going to sell it at uh, let's say uh, 30 cities so obviously we'll have a profit of 20 so the quantity remaining is still 100 now if you look here you realize that there are some display um options or display figures here okay the total amount or the total quantity is 100 the selling price is 30 then the purchase price is 10 per per team then the total purchase price that is the total amount uh, of money we use to buy the to purchase the 100 tin of milk is is thousand ghana cities okay the amount expected after selling the hundred tin of milk is what is three thousand cities so when we sell all the hundred tins of milk the profit we are going to get here will be two um will be two thousand ghana cities but profit for each tin of milk will be 20. so these are analysis the the data entry clerk or the manager would have to make if the 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 analysis or the sales here or the figures here are okay with you then you can what you can add the item into the system so we'll add the item to the system for the first product then let will pick another product let's say uh, the product is in bags so we're, let's use bags so bags here we will pick rice rice okay so rice is in bags so rice okay then the expiration date for this rise is 14th of december 2027 okay all right what is the total quantity of rice in the shop so let's say it's 200 bags the selling price or the purchase price for each bag is 130 cities 
then the selling price is let's give it 200 so obviously again the total remaining is 200 we have 70 70 as a profit we'll get after selling each bag of rice each bag of rice will be 70 and that's what we have here 70 cities the total purchase the total amount of uh, money we use to buy the 200 bags of rice is 26,000 cities and then um, the amount expected after selling these 200 bags of rice will be 40,000 and then the profit that will be made after selling these 200 uh, bags of rice the total profit for all will be 14,000 and then for each product will be 70 so like I said if the analysis is okay with you okay you are entitled to this page alone the sales personnel would not see this so if the analysis here is okay with you then you would uh, enter into the system so for the coders these are all codes that was written okay these are all codes to show um, the CD sign and all that so these are all codes that was behind it they are codes running so you enter into the system and then you have yes okay so now we will log out so we can go to the sales personnel but i want the video to be short i want the video to be very very short so we'll pause here and then i will continue with the second part of this video so that you can have um, time to download or view this video so this is uh, I'm not ending, but this is just how the system works. I will continue with the second part of this video very soon. You can link me up, okay, on 026-026-070-4112, okay, 026-070-4112, or 053-128-9884, that's my WhatsApp number so we can take it up from there i'll continue with the second part of this video very soon thank you very much and have a wonderful day